Hello, it's uh, Monday, and Mondays are my chore days on this beautiful, finally snowy uh, Tahoe winter. Finally, finally getting some snow. Uh, I went snowboarding yesterday with my daughter. She skis, I snowboard, but anyways. So, had my fun. Now it's time to get some work done. Gonna have to do a water change on this. Pardon the noise. But I've been wanting to show you guys. And I don't know if I have. So this is where other plants were living. But I didn't like having plants upstairs and downstairs. And I wanted to get the closet back. So I've taken this all down and moved the plants downstairs. Here's what I've done. I've added an extension to my previous indoor grow space. So I've just now I've taken up this whole wall of the room with a fish tank and orchids. So I've kind of been able to consolidate my hobby into one room, hobbies, because I also have my chinchillas in this room. They are right here in the closet. This is where the chinchillas are. And here's Cookie looking at Nibbler the chinchilla. Nibbler saying, get out of here, Cookie. So yeah, that's where they are now. All in the same place. In the same room. Oh, and I also have my art. But anyways, I have expanded my indoor light grow space. I've been growing with lights for almost two years now. Uh, LED lights, mostly, mainly. Uh, I've grown um, pop petalums under T8 compact fluorescence, but I have been growing most of my orchids under LED lights. The LED lights I use, I would consider them kind of in a low mid range of power. This is an aquarium light that actually I can change. Super cool. I can change it to be stormy. I can change it to be just white light with a dash. Oh, that's a lot of red. White light with a little bit of red. Yeah, so it's a really cool light. It's for my fish tank. It's the same one on here growing aquatic plants. This light is pulling about 40 watts. So this watt, this light is using 40 watts. That does not mean what it's equivalent to. That's just power use. And I find for my plant growing, the actual power used will give you a better idea of how much power you are giving your lights without having to go out and buy a par meter. Ideally, I would love to have one of those, but they're really expensive. So I'm not, not getting one of those. So this light here is about 60 watts, and I've been blooming and growing a lot of plants under this light. Uh, Androbiums have bloomed under this light, Oncidiums blooming under this light, Encyclia, Cordadora, Encyclia Garciana. Basically all of my plants, my zygos, ones down here, all of my plants have gone into spike under these red lights, which are about 60 watts. Actual use wattage, 60 watts. I have not noticed a big difference between white full spectrum versus red pink lights. Uh, you know, I like the idea and the theory behind these lights, but full spectrum light has um, been shown in studies to be the best way to go. But this has been just fine. Um, I'm growing, uh, my orchid babies are over here too. And uh, I've gotten really nice growth on my lith hops under the LED lights. Oh yeah, I've also gotten cat leas to bloom under LED lights. But here we have uh, lith hops, and they are growing their second uh, batch of sea uh, leaves. And yeah, they're splitting open, and new leaves growing. This one here, that one there is kind of funky shape, but whatever. So, yay, lithop babies are doing really well. And uh, these little, these are my orchid babies. 
flask babies. And these are the ones that have survived. Knock on wood have survived. And there go the dogs. So they're doing okay. I have new growth. I thought this one thought most of these guys were gonna die, but I have new growth, so I'm gonna hold on to them. See what happens. This cut cutting, succulent cuttings are doing really well. Still kind of small, but they're cute when they're small. So yeah. Those are the lights I've been growing these plants under. Actually, in here, it's been a few months now, and we finally have new lithop babies. Yep, there they are popping up in here. Two little green dots. Two little green dot. Sorry, shaky camera when I get zoomed in. Uh, then we have these other experimental um, succulent seeds that are not sprouting yet. But I noticed that once I move them into a warmer area, they start doing a lot better. So I'm just going to keep waiting. Anyways, that's my extended grow space for my indoor growing plants. Since it's going to be a while since we can put them outside. Because uh, winter finally came. Yeah. And uh, I'll do another video about, I think I'm going to do a video about my lithop babies. Yeah. Thanks for watching.